Welcome back to another juice review, and yes, it is that time of the month. It is vape mail time. I always say it on every review, it's like I've done something when it comes through the post. Now, if you don't know what vape mail is all about, it's an e-liquid subscription and it's a monthly subscription. Now, vape mail have got their own e-liquid, they've got 500 different flavours, and each month it'll come through the post here, roughly around about the third or the fourth of the month, and you get different flavors to it. So it takes out that hassle of actually going to the vape shop or or trying to find some different liquids. They sort it all out for you. So you get to try different ones. Now they've got three different packages. They've got silver, gold, and platinum. I'll just stick up what you actually get. In the silver, it is $16.99. You get two of the Vape Mail 50ml short fills, uh, two different flavors. You get their Nick, uh, Nick Salt shots. 10% off of all other vape mail products and 10% off the top ups. You've then got their gold subscription, which we are reviewing today. That's $27.99. You get four of the 50 ml short fills, all four different flavors, four of the uh, Nick Salt shots. You get one vape mail prize wheel spin. You get 15% off of all other vape mail products and 15% off all of the top ups. Then the top package, which is the Platinum, you get six 50ml short fills, six different flavours, six uh, Nick Salt shots, one set of coil, God, coils, not easy to say, two vape mail surprise uh, wheel spins, and you also get 20% off all other vape mail products, and 20% off of their top-ups. That's how it works, and it's very, very simple. You pick what you want, which subscription, gets posted out to you and then it'll keep coming each month. Right, we've got that bit out of the way. We'll get the other bit out of the way as well. If you've never done a 50ml short fill and you do take Nick, all you think you'll do is take the top off, stick your Nick shot in, leave it for 24 to 48 hours and you're ready to go. Some people say 30 minutes, but I'd leave it 24 hours. Let it steep, people, let it steep. Well, let's get on with the review we've got four different flavors like i said the way it does come you get these nice little packaging through you get a little baggie with your nick salts in there all mine are already nicked up let's get on to the first flavor and the first flavor we are going to be looking at is a dark fruit freeze there we go have a little look at that Childproof cap, all the warnings, everything that should be there is on there. What have we got it on? We've got it on the Trusted Wasp and Nano on the Cold Steel 100, coming out at 65 watts at 0.3 ohms. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. Ooh. You've definitely got that freeze in there. It, to me, it just tastes like a black currant locket. Exactly like a black currant locket. 70 30, plenty of vapor production. It's not overly icy, but you're getting that freeze at the back of your tongue. And I'll tell you what, it is very purple. It's uh, sort of, I don't know if it's stained, but it's definitely purple in the tank. So what you're getting is you're getting that black currant taste and you're getting that sort of freeze or that ice to it. But it's not overly freezy, no, not overly icy, if that makes sense at all. But it's just that taste of that black currant locket. Yeah, that one I'll be uh, using perfect for this sort of uh, weather, the, the wintry weather. Some uh, nice uh, black currant locket, which is their uh, dark fruit freeze. Yeah, I quite like that. On to the next one. This one is called Raspberry Delight. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's the bottle. Childproof cap. All the warnings that should be there are there. What have we got it on? We have got it on the Wasp Nano on the Chroma R. Coming out at 60 watts at 0.18 ohms. Let's give it a vape to see what we think. Yeah. 
you can taste that chocolate and it's a milk chocolate. Now, chocolate is very, very hard to get right and they've nailed this. It's definitely a milk chocolate and you can taste the raspberry underneath it. So I'm thinking they're going for like a, a Turkish delight on this. But they've nailed that chocolate. And you're getting that raspberry underneath. That's nice and smooth. It's not chemical. I'm not really, I don't like, a, um, I was going to say Angel Delight then. I don't like Turkish Delight, but that, with the, with the chocolate and the raspberry, tastes really, really nice. I might be wrong, it might not be a Turkish Delight, it might be just chocolate, or there might be no chocolate in it, taste is subjective. But I could taste a milk chocolate in there, and you're getting the raspberry underneath it. Again, 70, 30, plenty of vapour production. That's really nice. It's Moorish as well. I really do like that one. Right, we're in this December's pack. Obviously, it's Christmas. We've had the sort of menthol to get you through your cold. We've had your chocolate fix. And now we're going on to the Christmassy type. You have got your candy cane. There we go. The monkey's got some antlers. What have we got this on? We have got it on the Aladdin RDA with the Gruss. I love this mod. Um, coming out at 65 watts at 0.62 ohms. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. I really like this. I'm really into like my mints and stuff like this. And this tastes exactly like a candy cane. If you like candy canes, you're going to love this. It's like that Murray Mint candy cane. That tastes really, really nice. Again, smooth, not chemically. Seventy thirty, plenty of vapor production. Really do like that. That is um, right up my street, and it's got that Christmassy feel. It is like a Murray Mint, and that was candy cane. Big thumbs up for that one. Right, the last flavour. Again, we're still on the Christmas field. This one's called Christmas Milk. You've got the monkey as a, a Santa. This is Christmas Milk. Loving the uh, the actual bottles. Right, then what we've got this on, we've got it on the fours on the Requiem RDA coming out 65 watts at 0.3 ohms. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. That's a little bit different. You're getting the creaminess of the milk. Now, I don't like currants and I'm not really into cinnamon. And I'm sort of getting a, a cinnamon taste and a, and a taste that I'm not quite used to. And I'm, I'm thinking it might be sort of like a curranty taste. I don't know where I'm getting that from. Is it a Christmas pudding? I'm not quite sure. I don't like Christmas pudding. That's a little bit different. I can taste the creaminess of the milk, but I can't nail the other flavours in it. I think there's a bit of cinnamon in there. Like I said, I'm not massively into currants or dates or anything like that, but it's sort of coming across like that, like that mince pie sort of thing. Yeah, that's different. Again, remember, taste is subjective. That's not really one that I would actually vape. Like I said, you can get that creaminess of the milk, but there's there's other flavours in there, like a cinnamon and maybe more like a, a mince pie sort of mixed taste to it. It's not liking currants. I don't, the only time I like currants is if they're in a curry. That's weird, that, isn't it? They taste sweeter. And the only thing they are is uh, uh, dried up uh, grapes, aren't they? Yeah, that's a little bit different, but obviously along the Christmas feel. Well, how would I rate these? I would go with the, it's a toss up between the candy cane. I really did like that. That's right up my street. And also the raspberry um, delight. If they're going for a Turkish delight, you could taste that creamy uh, milk chocolate. Again, I really did like that one. And then last, that, that's down to taste is subjective. 
Well, this has been another review by Little Bro. If you've liked the review, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. The subscribe button's in the corner. Give it a little press and get me to that new magic number. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go and hit me up, people. And uh, we'll see you next month for next month's gold subscription. One last thing to say, people. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.